guys this is our second last video of the python dsa and today's video i am giving the solution of python dsa but in the previous video i told you about the method in with python dsa so this video is about the solution with python dsa so get ready for that so please like this video share friends and subscribe to my channel and do not forget to all the notification bell and please tell me our this is our second last video of python dsa when it has been ended so which type of course we have started so please tell me in the comment section below so now i'm in, uh, uh, let's move to the computer screen and let's do a coding we loving so guys this is our second last video of the python dsa in that second last video i am telling about the solution but the uh, i'm the topic is the solution but the uh, the he the threading is tab array with given gem okay so now let's start the following question the following question was asked during a coding interview for amazon you are given an array of numbers non negative find the continuous tab array of the list with h up to give up to a given sum like there is one uh, there are uh, 3 4 5 6 7 8 uh, nine numbers like here you can see like that there are nine numbers here you can see it like that there is one nine numbers like 1 then 7 then 4 then 2 then 1 then 3 then 1 1 11 then 5 and then here is one last 10 like there is one number so here you can see it one graph as we made it what is telling the number this one solution here you can see it this one solution and this one array has been printed like this is our sub arrays like 1 then 7 is the sub array 4 2 then 1 then 3 then 11 then 5 then 10 here you can see it now let me give you one solution let me give you Uh, this one solution has been giving like this is one solution. If I copy this solution and let me run this solution on my Python file. First of all, let me copy it and let me go on to my Raplet. First of all, let me go the Raplet. Open your Raplet. When you open your Raplet, so I uh, click on to the e, here the Python file. And when I click it, so it take a little bit loading. Then it has me done it. when i paste this code and if i run it and okay if i say here yeah, please tell me what is error in this code it give you a sometime it give you a syntax uh, sorry the indentation error so oh the ai has been solved it okay what is error in this code give me complete code with output let me run it so it is saying okay now when i paste it and if i run it so la arrj is list if i copy it it is always giving me error please solve it and give me the output with so when i wrote that so then it has been solving it down and then it has been in like solving like that and if i run it so now uh, it is me the arrj so it giving giving me error in arr j solve it so now when i write that, that but now it is not giving me error because our sub so our indentation error has been solved so that's why it not giving me the error but it giving me some errors error it is giving me when i run it so okay 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 now 
it is not giving me the error when I go here and when I go 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 so that it give you the output in here okay like brute force 0 and 3 output 2 6 4 2 1 and 3 and better brute force uh, 0 and 2 output should be 2 6 4 2 1 3 and greed uh, greedy algorithm 0 and output should be 2 6 4 2 1 3 like that here it is giving the output i'm seeing on the i'm seeing the output in the constraint okay so sorry about that so but it is coming like that here you can see it so output has been coming very easily yes and uh, our python file has been very easily yes run it like that and if you uh, copy these code uh, like here like here and when i you paste it you pay uh, copy this code only i copy it whole text okay so sorry for that but uh, like that if i run it so it give you like that and when you run it so here you can see it it gave you the error on a r r j here you can see it a r r in j it is giving me the error so but our finally has been solved it and now uh, our code has been run very easily yes and here you can see it in today's video i told you about is this our second last video of the uh, python dsa in today's video i give you one solution here you can see it so now i hope you can enjoy this class so in the uh, next video of python dsa this is uh, in the, this is our second last video so the next video of, uh, uh, is the summary and conclusion okay so get ready for that we are very set our python dsa series has been ended okay it is our second last video so in the next video i give you the uh, in the next video there is coming the last video of python dsa okay so get ready for that so i appreciate your support bro and if you generally i appreciate my work so please like your friends know about this course too and if you haven't checked my whole playlist yet so move on to the code uh, with pk.com on my youtube channel so you can easily access it and bookmark it also so now i made the next lesson next video amazing class like that type of video so for today goodbye